Ladies and gents, boys and girls, Duggas and diggers, it's your mans back again with some more this reaction juice. Now, the cool thing about this one is this is a Zenoger, but it's Stygian Zenoger. I love Stygian Zenoger. His gun lance is like my favorite gun lance of all time. Back in 3 Ultimate, he was definitely one of my favorites out there. I had a lot of fun hunting him. He was the biggest wall to ever exist at the time, more so than that of any devil you ever fought. Nevertheless, let's look at the trailer, and then we can get into discussions afterwards. Without further ado, let's get it. Useless handler, always in the way. Mm-hmm. Yo, we got Dragon Balls. It's an install? Like... Okay. December 5th is going to be OD. Oh my word, son. Okay, actually, uh, we gotta go back. I need to know if, okay, if he does an attack, and because he did the attack, does he get a Dragon Ball? I don't think that's the case. I might have just been overlooking things. Well, over, overhyping it, I suppose. I don't know, may maybe, maybe he already has a Dragon Ball, but if he does an attack and then gets the Dragon Ball for free, that's big. That's super big. The biggest thing about Steven Zenoga was the fact that he was a monster who actually had combos. Serious combos. He had incredibly lame stuff. He had mix-ups, cross-ups, like, the, he had you fuzzy guarding everything. It was ridiculous. He was, he was amazing. And then when you weren't blocking, you were, like, so wary. It's like, yo, the Dragon Balls that they're, he has, like, four of them up. They track super heavy back in 3 Ultimate. I'm always going to refer to the 3 Ultimate variant, every other version after that, not so much. But they tracked heavy. It was like super homing, and then you had a lot of trouble trying to get away from them. I used to actually try to spin around on its head where I would go behind the monster himself. Dragon Balls would hit Stings and Ogre, and you wouldn't get hit by it. But it was crazy. You had to go through a lot to do anything against him, man. And then, I mean, he was he was such a cool fight back in the day. His gear was amazing Still my favorite gun lens of all time to this day. It was it was all raw. You could awaken it for more dragon and it was like wide five. It was oh my goodness, it was so good. <sighs> I like Zenogar today, guys. I like Stygian Zenogar. And I'm so glad it's making a return in the Iceborne. Uh December 5th. That's like in two weeks or something like that. I can't wait. I'm super excited. And hopefully by then we'll have all the videos caught up so that way we can see it naturally through it, through its real progression. And if not, doesn't matter. The day comes out, we're making a video. Anyway, it's been your boy. We can talk about this way, uh, way later. But that's what I got for you right now. I'm super excited for it. Super stoked. He's one of my favorites, period, bar none. Not one of my favorite monsters per se. He's probably in the top 10 somewhere now, my new top 10. But his weapon... Absolutely in the top 10, top three, okay, bar none, regardless, it's been your boy.